What's the word, y'all? Let's talk about this uh, we done with the 90s trend that we're seeing over on TikTok and Instagram and, and Twitter. Now, I could be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure the creator over on TikTok named Yo Reaction was the originator of this. Basically, started off with him going back and watching a bunch of uh, footage from the 80s, deciding that he didn't like it, that he was done with it, and eventually it bled into the 90s because in his opinion, based on the, the games that he's watched, um, Jordan had no left hand. Jordan, Larry Bird, a lot of the players from the 80s and the 90s are extremely overrated and so on and so forth. And then... Um, he went extra viral for it. He's got a couple million view videos in here. Shout out to him. And then other creators also decide to give their two cents on the whole thing. And now we're done with the 90s can trend on Twitter and on TikTok and stuff. And I got to admit, I have never felt more like an old head than when I saw this trend. Now, I was born in the 90s, but I have no cognitive memories of the night. I was born in 96 you know what I'm saying? So I wasn't really there for Jordan's last couple rings or so on and so forth. But all of this, all of this ends up stemming from the Jordan versus LeBron debate. The most washed and tiring debate in all of sports. This is where it comes up to, right? We have been conditioned by the first takes, by the undisputed, by all of the other shows that we grew up watching where the GOAT debate was talked about three times a week that now we as fans do the same thing. And it's tiring. Go watch. <laughs> this let, lets you know how tired I am with this whole debate. Go watch my appearances on different TV shows or different people's channel when they ask me who is the GOAT. I do not care. And sometimes I'll say Jordan. And sometimes I'll say LeBron because I don't feel like arguing. If I'm talking to an old head, if I'm at the barbershop and an old head is there and he knows what I do for work and he asks me who the GOAT is, I'm going to say Jordan because I don't really care and I know that's his answer, so I'm going to agree with him because it doesn't matter to me. If I'm talking to somebody that's younger and they ask me who's the GOAT, I will say LeBron for the exact same reason. I'm not here to have no debate, no argument because it doesn't matter. None of it matters. Who is the GOAT? Who's not the GOAT? It's so over. Done. Because the reality of the situation, if you believe that Jordan is the GOAT, there's nothing that LeBron can do in his career to make you think otherwise. If you think Jordan is, I mean, if you think Bron is the GOAT, then there's nothing that Jordan did do that's going to change your mind. So why have the debate? Nobody's ever had the Jordan versus LeBron bait and said, hmm, you're right, the person that I, I disagree with. So now I've switched teams. It's never happened. You want to know how I know that the discourse of NBA debate has been uh, heavily swayed by the things we grew up watching on ESPN and so on, so on and so forth, is that this type of thing, the dis discrediting of previous eras, is a almost strictly basketball thing. We're the only fan base that does stuff like this. The NFL fans is not looking at quarterbacks from the 1990s and saying that really good quarterbacks now are dramatically better. They're not discrediting, though. They're not discrediting John Elway. They're not discrediting Dan Marino in the favor of quarterbacks in 2024. People are not looking at 1990s baseball and saying Frank Thomas can't mess with Vladdy Jr. Everybody you normally just respects the previous eras because, in my opinion, the basketball back in the 1990s and the basketball in 2024, the objective is the same as to put the ball in the basket more than your opponent. But these are different sports. It is apples to oranges. Those players did what they did to help that these players can do what they do. It's been an evolution of the game, just like every sport. You cannot compare any sport from the 1990s to 2024, and you're going to see it be exactly the same way, whether it be the way it's called, the way medicine has evolved, the way techniques and strategies have evolved. This is just the way of everything, not just a sports thing. It's always going to be an evolution. So in 2024, undoubtedly, the talent pool, the skill level, skill level is dramatically better than the 1990s. That's, that's without a debate. But now you see me trying to discredit the 90s just because now is, is better with the talent pool. Things were different. But again, all of this just stems from a Jordan versus LeBron debate. If I'm not mistaken, Patrick Mahomes needs four more Super Bowl rings to match Tom Brady, right? There's a lot of, a lot of question about could he become the eventual GOAT when his career is over. If he somehow does end up winning those extra four Super Bowl rings, do you think when we get to the point where they're trying to figure out who's the greatest quarterback that we're going to go back and say, hey, Tom Brady's first ring? I got to Google it. I'm not that huge of an NFL fan to know when his first, <laughs> oh, his first Super Bowl was. Hold on. Tom Brady's first ring was back in in 2002 well back in 2002 the way the game was played was a lot different yada 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 so therefore we can discredit what tom brady was doing. you know what i'm saying it's just for me again maybe i'm just an old head now at the old age of 27 years old 
that it just feels weird. And again, if you're doing it for the means, you're doing it for fun, do your part. You know what I'm saying? I'm never going to tell you to not have fun. But the people that are actually using this to like somehow spark up a debate and so on and so forth, it's just kind of weird. As much as this is on the now fans that are creating this trend, this is also on the old heads too. Do not get me wrong. Y'all are not safe because because LeBron James cracked 40,000 points, a number that we have not seen and we may not see for, see for another 30 years. And instead of basking in the moment and recognize the greatness that is 21 years of consistently being healthy on top of the league, it was like, well, well if Jordan played X amount of years, he would have done it too. Like, what is ha what is happening? Bro, this is why I started my brand. Not a plug because we ain't got nothing on sale right now. When I say enjoy basketball, this is what I mean. Let basketball be the thing. This is, man, life is hard. And anytime I can sit down for two and a half hours and forget about the real stuff that's going on in my life through basketball, I'm here for it. I couldn't imagine watching somebody doing do what, what Le LeBron has done and being like, well, back in my day, it's just exhausting for everybody. And again, there's going to be a portion of NBA fans that don't really enjoy the actual thing of basketball. They're there for the baits. They're there for the storylines and the drama revolving around the basketball. And again, that's fine. Everybody consumes different things different ways. But man, it's kind of frustrating, especially when it's in my comment section. For example, this is Kenny Rent session. Yesterday, Anthony Davis had a stat line of like 24 points, 20 rebounds, like seven assists, seven blocks, or seven steals, three blocks. He did it against the Minnesota Timberwolves, who were without Carl Anthony Towns, Rudy Gobert, so on and so forth. I made a simple tweet, and I didn't even watch this game live. Only thing I saw was a stat line. I made a simple tweet saying that LeBron, uh, that Anthony Davis stat line is insane. I didn't even, I didn't even comment about the actual basketball because I didn't watch it. I just saw the stat line, and anytime somebody has a 20-20 game and is two uh, blocks away from a five by five, that is an amazing amazing feat and boy you would have thought i said something super controversial the way my comment section was well kenny he did it against luca garza and nas reed it don't count man cut it out just give the flowers and move on with the day or don't get flowers but don't go after my tweet of me giving the flowers the reality is there's going to be pros and cons to every single era the 90s and the 2000s is like this dead ball era where the offense was give the ball to our best player and let them cook, but there is negative spacing. The 2024 era is filled with um, lackadaisical officiating five out offenses, and it's just easier to score baskets now. You cannot look at these stats and convince me that this is like these are apples to apples. This is 1996 total three pointers made. In this season, there are 16 players that made over 153s. And what you're going to notice from this is it's a lot of guards and some wings, right? We're talking about 16 total players to make 153s. In 2023, there was 52 players. This is a different game. And amongst them, we have power forwards. We got um, a, a lot of different positions. There's more variety here, right? The game has evolved. I've been all over the place this video. It is what it is. All, all I want my close remarks to be is that uh, comparison is a thief of joy. I think it's okay to allow the previous eras to exist without comparison um, and just let these two eras, these five eras, the 10 eras that we have of basketball exist on its own. Who's the GOAT, Jordan or LeBron? None of it matters. Leave a like, subscribe.